Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've gotten a lot recently. And that is how do you optimize your photo storage on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to optimize your photo storage on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're like me and you pay for an iCloud storage capacity increase monthly, you know that they do offer a way to optimize your photo storage on your iPhone and that way it takes up less space on your iPhone in less gigabytes. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the settings app. It's this gear icon thing right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my settings app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my settings app. This is the home screen here. Now, one thing I want to let you know is in order to optimize your photo storage, you do need to have an iCloud storage membership like I do if it increases past the free amount of storage that offers you. So as long as you have that and you want to go ahead and optimize your photo storage on your iPhone, scroll down until you see this line right here called general. It has a gear icon next to it. Once you click there, you're going to see this drop down menu, but you want to click on this menu right here called iPhone storage. Once you're here, you do see this option for optimize your photos. So here I can save about 48 gigabytes. And basically what that means is what's listed here. They will keep the full resolution photos and videos in my iCloud storage. And then on my iPhone device, which is what we're looking at right now, they'll use a smaller size version. So the actual quality of your photos and videos, you won't lose. It's still going to be in your iCloud. For example, if you look at storage space, my photos and videos is taking up close to 80 gigabytes. So according to my iPhone, if I go ahead and optimize my photo storage on my iPhone, I will save close to 48 gigabytes, which is quite a bit. So if you want to go ahead and optimize your photo storage, click on this blue and enable button. Okay. A second later, it turns green. So now my full resolution photos and videos are in the iCloud available when I want to use them, but my phone is going to use a smaller resolution. So there you have it guys. If you want to optimize your iPhone photo and video storage, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. And as you can see a little bit by little bit, this gigabytes used on my iPhone is decreasing. So let me go back and I'm going to click back in and yeah, you can see that it's going down little by little. So I've saved quite a bit of storage space on my iPhone. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.